Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name's Oriana and I create fashion videos. So today I'm sharing a mango haul, those are some pieces that I really need to pick up for autumn winter. As you can see, there is a lot of cream and like oat milly kind of colours going on up here. Before I jump in, if you do enjoy my videos, please do go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like. Right, so let's just jump straight in. So let's start with coats. I picked up a couple, not with the intention to keep both, but just because I really wanted a double breasted coat in a nice light neutral colour for autumn winter this year and they had quite a few on there so I picked up two just to test them out and see which one works better for me. I'm going to show you my favourite one first so my favourite is this sort of kind of it's somewhere between a beige and an oatmeal colour this one it's double breasted as I've said it's got lovely black buttons that run down the front which I love just because it makes it so much easier to tie in with like an all black outfit just by giving you that little bit of detail up front and this one is in a really lovely slouchy fit which I think just works so lovely because you can wear it dressed up but you can also wear it really casually as well you've got side slip pockets which are nice and discreet the only thing with this one is that it's not lined but I do tend to find that when you buy slouchy fit coats like this they don't tend to line them but I don't know if that's because when you buy these sort of slouchier fitting coats you tend to wear them open a lot of the time so you would be able to see the lining so I don't really mind the fact that it's not lined. I've styled this one up with my black turtleneck dress and then my lug sole boots just for an all black look underneath and I really love that look but as I said you could dress this even more casually you could just throw this on with a pair of jeans and some trainers but then also you could throw this over a dress and heels if you were going somewhere a little bit fancier so I'm really happy with this one I think it's going to be the one that I keep I picked it up in a size medium I would usually go for a small in a coat like this because it's already quite oversized but obviously I am expecting so I wanted a coat that I could ideally get over my bump this winter and this one allows me to do that it's definitely got a little bit of growing room in there for me as well which is perfect so then the next coat that I picked up again is double breasted but this one is in a much more structured tailored fit so it's very straight not slouchy at all like the other one this one is like very prim and proper again it's in a very soft oatmeal color but this one's a bit lighter than the last one definitely a little bit more creamy a little bit more bright Again, you've got black buttons running down the front and you've got two pockets at the front of this one. Now, I do think this is an absolutely lovely coat, but it definitely is just a little bit too long for me. It felt kind of like a kid playing dress up in their mum's wardrobe wearing it. So <laughs> I don't think that it works for me. I think if it had been maybe a bit more of a midi length coat, it would have worked quite nicely. But yeah, I feel like I'm kind of just drowning in it. Obviously as well, I have gone up to a medium in it. I don't know if a small would have worked better just in terms of me being a little bit more petite. But yeah, this one's not really gonna work for me in that sense because it's tailored and structured and just hasn't really got any give in it. But I did still wanna show you guys it because it is an absolutely lovely coat but definitely isn't going to be a winner for me this autumn winter. Right, so the next item I picked up was this long line cardigan. Again, it's in a cream, which is probably my favourite colour for autumn winter. I love the way that a cream just brightens everything up on those grey autumnal days. This one is in a really lovely flowy fit and I just thought it'd work perfectly over midi dresses, especially when you want to do them a little bit more dressed up in the autumn winter. Most of my midi dresses don't have sleeves. So I thought this one worked really beautifully just over my white midi dress from Zara, just just with my white heels on my feet and that just made like a really nice comfy pretty date night look I would say obviously you definitely could wear this a lot more dressed down though this would work really nicely just with a pair of leggings and a t-shirt or jeans and a t-shirt and some trainers but yeah I just absolutely love the color of this cardigan and then next I've got a couple of jumpers that I wanted to show you so the first one is this again cream jumper with a v-neck and it's in a ribbed knit, this one. I'll just show you a little close up. So this is one of the items that I wasn't so sure about just because I thought this was gonna be a really nice oversized sort of slouchy fit, but it's actually a lot more cropped than what I had expected it to be. So I obviously could size up in it, but I don't know, this is already a medium and it's already quite short. So I don't feel like going up to a large is gonna make much of a difference. On the model they kind of showed it as being like you could wear it off the shoulder which you can't really do the neckline is quite small so yeah it didn't really turn out quite how i'd envisioned it or quite how it seemed like it was going to in the photos but yeah i'm really not bothered about this one it's definitely going to be a return i'm just going to carry on looking around for a cream knit jumper that's in a really nice big slouchy fit and then the last jumper i wanted to show you was this black one and this is the only other color that we are featuring this haul it's literally creams 
or black I'm sorry but this one is lovely I'm really happy with it it's in a really nice oversized fit it's got a longer drop to it which I really like and is exactly what I was looking for just because I have had to now move over to maternity leggings which are great but they kind of just mean that you haven't got so much hold around your waist and they tend to sort of scrunch up a little bit around the crotch area so I wanted jumpers for this autumn winter it was definitely going to cover that area quite nicely just so I could still have like a nice flattering silhouette and this one does that absolutely perfectly the sleeves are cuffed which is great because it means that they're quite easy just to pull up which I always do when I'm wearing jumpers and I also really love the high neckline that it gives. I've just shown this style with my leather leggings which are the Topshop ones but in the maternity style which are absolutely so perfect and so comfy and I've also shown it with my blazer thrown over as well and my chunky boots I'll be sure to link all of the items that I've styled everything up with down below just for your reference in case you're interested in shopping any of those and I really love that look it's perfect for autumn I love the contrast between the blacks and the khaki and yeah I'm absolutely delighted with this jumper it does absolutely everything that I wanted it to and I feel like I'm definitely gonna get loads of wear out of it this autumn and probably all throughout winter as well. And then the very last item that I wanted to show you was this bag that I picked up. Now I thought this was a really cute dupe of the Saint Laurent Lulu bag, which is a bag that I always see around and I do really love it, but it's not really ever been one that has been on my actual like bag wish list. But when I saw this, I was kind of like, yes, add to basket. That is so cute. And I was very much in the market for a bag that was a little bit bigger as well. This is a really nice medium size. I'm trying to drink loads of water at the moment. So I always have a water bottle on me. And a lot of my bags don't actually fit a water bottle into them. So I'm always like holding it in my hand. Whereas this bag is a perfect size to be able to fit your water bottle into it and your purse and your phone and everything else. And yeah, I thought it was perfect. It's like a nice quality piece. I'm not sure I've ever brought a bag from Mango before, but I feel like the quality of this one looks really good. So I'm predicting it's gonna last me well. So I'll just show you a little close up. It's a faux leather in a quilted pattern. And then you've just got a little bit of gold detail at the flap at the front here, and then gold chains. And what I love about the chain is that they've given you leather straps at the top. So when it's sitting on your shoulder, it is still, really comfortable so you can either wear it short with both straps pulled over your shoulder like this which is how i imagine myself wearing it most of the time and then you also have the option to wear it long as well so it's lovely and versatile right so that's all of the items that i have to share with you today i really hope that you've enjoyed this haul if you have please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye